Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Carter and today we're going to talk about a mind mapping program called Google. Not Google, but Google. Google was developed by Google actually and has been in beta testing since May 2013. Google allows a user to create a simple or advanced concept map that includes text, external links, pictures, and graphics. Google produces an organized document that resembles a branching tree and allows multiple users to collaborate and work on a document together. It seems that Kugel was designed for teachers. One of the best features of Kugel is that it's free. All you need to do to use Kugel is create a Google account. If you already have one, you can sign in and you can create a concept map in just a few seconds. In addition, Kugel is a Web 2.0 software that is completely cloud or online based. This is a great feature for students and teachers as students will not need to have a physical computer or storage media to save their work. Students will not be able to say they left their work at home since it's cloud based. This cloud based technology is a wonderful tool and since Kugel is free, students can use it at home, in school, or wherever they're at. It also supports things like iPads, Androids, iOS devices, so it's usable across multiple platforms. Now I'm going to talk about some of the key features of Kugel. One of the cool features of Kugel is that you can invite others to view and edit your mind maps. All Kugel mind maps can be downloaded as PDFs or PNG image files. Some other things that you can do with Kugel are real-time collaboration, sharing with groups, individuals, or by private link, view a copy of a previous version, include images, include links, support for math equations, and also iOS support. Now that I've talked about a few of the features that Google offers, let's take a look at a concept map that I created earlier on today on technology education. Here you can see a basic concept map with technology education as the starting point. It branches out with many different sub-factors, including robotics. We're going to take a look at that right now. Now we're going to edit the robotics field by pressing the plus sign to add a new box. I'm going to add sensing and control to the area. As you can see, I spell it wrong. With the built-in spell check, it's very easy to fix these spelling mistakes, which is the added plus to many students and teachers. If I wanted to add a new box, all I have to do is add the plus sign. There are many shortcuts built into the program of Google. For example, if I want to add a new box, all I have to do is hold down the shift key and enter when I'm typing, instead of adding the plus sign. This makes adding a new box very easily done and allows the user not to have to use the mouse to add new content. Here's a list of the keyboard shortcuts that a user can use in Google. They are listed on the left side of the taskbar for easy use and reference. Using keyboard shortcuts is much easier and quicker than using the plus sign or add sign. As you can see, adding branches to your concept map is fairly easy and not very time consuming. You can create a concept map in no time here you can see we have two of the same colors on each branch. If I click on the branch, a wheel appears and I can change color and everything under that wheel changes color as well. As stated before, one of the best features of Kugel is the ability to share with other individuals. Here you can see that I can add an email address and the email will be sent out sharing my Kugel concept map. I can add editors, I can add other people who have privilege to edit and modify the document. I can also export as a PDF or a PNG to save as a paper copy. In addition, I can click on the time amount, I can see all the changes that I made over the past little while and revert back to any changes. If I click on the little man in the corner, it shows the ownership of each document. One page that I found very useful that I kind of stumbled upon that Google doesn't provide a direct link to on their actual Google mapping site was their how-to page. This area shows many different features and many different how-tos of what users want to do in their Kugel. For example, resizing images, adding links, creating embedded text, adding multimedia, etc. On their help website, there's also a tutorial section which tells users how to use HTML5 in Kugel. Part of the Kugel process is using code to change or modify the text on their Kugel. Basically, they provide a copy and paste version of what you need to put in there, which allows users to modify their Kugel to the way they want to do it, fairly easily. Kugel is not with its limitations. It's in beta format, so there are a few bugs to work out. In addition, it is impossible to add relationships to a bubble besides its parent format. This is a flaw within the system and I think it needs to be fixed in revision. 
That being said, using Google is a fairly easy program and you're able to create a concept map within minutes. All these positive features makes Kugel a strong contender for teachers to input, implement into the classroom and use as a concept mapping tool. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy this podcast. Have a great night, and over and out.